Hey there everybody, this is the second video that I have filmed tonight because the first one, I got done editing it and I watched it back and I was like, I'm not going to feel comfortable putting this up. It's not, I'm, it's going to be the kind of thing where I post it, schedule it, go to bed, and then get up in the middle of the night and delete it because I just, would, it wouldn't sit right with me. Basically what it was is tonight I've been I've not been in a good mood tonight, and I made it about the mood I was feeling. So this video is going to be talking a little bit about that, but then about what it made me think of that I couldn't go through with posting this video. In short, the reason I'm like feeling kind of not great, that was like a weird Christopher Walken, the, the reason I'm not feeling great is because... I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm in control enough of my life, and YouTube is the thing that I love the most about my life, and you could say, in a way, it's the only thing that I love about my life. The only thing I even like about my life. All the other major arenas of life, career, friends, relationship, subpar at best to non-existent. And it just gets me in this negative place of thinking only, only other people are people who do what they want in life and get the good things that they want. And it's kind of it's kind of sad when you realize you have these beliefs, uh, which I definitely do. I basically feel like if it's a good thing, it can't happen to me. And if something good does happen to me, it can't last for any long amount of time. Not the healthiest mindset to have. Uh, so that's what I'm feeling. Uh, but I, I didn't want to put that out there in the way that I put it out there in the first video because it was just, I don't know, I, I can't say what was wrong with it, but it wasn't painting me in a great light. And that brings me to part two of this video. Something that I realized the other day when I was editing a video and I cut out, well, originally I put it up and then I thought to myself, ah, oh, I don't, I think I need to cut part of it because it just got too, it cut too close to something and I didn't want to present myself in a certain way. So I actually deleted it off YouTube before it was published and then edited it, edited it again and re-uploaded it. So it took like an extra 20 minutes or so. Then as I... After I did all that, shut down the computer, I thought to myself as I lay in bed, I am obsessed with my image. And not just on YouTube, not just like image in terms of how I look, not just how I'm presenting myself on YouTube, but in my whole life, in my interactions with everyone, I am obsessed with it with my image, with what people think about me, basically. It's not, I just want to make it, make it clear, it's not like a vanity thing where I want to look pretty all the time. It's like a character thing. I want to appear a certain way to people. I'm like, I, I feel like I am acutely aware of how others perceive me. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I have a good handle on it, and I care very much about how people perceive me. And I, I feel like I need to have a stranglehold on what other people think. I don't, I don't like other people to make a decision about me that I don't like or based on some information that I didn't want to get out. So I, always, I feel like I need to keep a really strong grip on how I present myself and the information about me that gets out to the people in my life. Now on YouTube, it's much easier for me to control this image because it's just what I say and what I leave in the videos. And I can cut out anything or even delete a video if I don't want it to get out there. It's a little bit more difficult in real life when people are always observing you and the words that come out of your mouth aren't always heavily edited, you know? Uh, and I was writing in my journal about this and wrote down something that is like really awful and I, <laughs> I only say it, I only say it here the, just in case someone out there has ever felt this way.
but it's like I don't want people to see the real me. I want them to see the image of what I want to project because I don't think the real me is really any good. This is just something I believe for some reason. I don't know why I've gotten that message over my lifetime. It's just a, a very deep belief that's very difficult for me to let go of that I am inadequate and that the only way for people to respect or admire me or to think I'm cool is to make up something and to present something that is not me and to keep people far away from me. Because it just feels like the less people know, the better. And what people know needs to have passed an editor, a very good editor. I don't say this because I want you all to jump in and say, oh no, you're great just the way you are. Please don't say that. Say anything else. Please talk about the weather or talk about your favorite sports team in the comments section. This isn't about building me up. This is I'm sharing this as a way of just expressing like, you know, something that I felt and hoping that maybe someone else will hear it and know and understand that if they feel that way, they're not the only one. And I don't have an answer to it except to <laughs> realize you're doing it, you know, admitting it is the first step. And it was, you know, it's something I, I guess I've always known it, but it just came to me really clearly a few days ago. Maybe it's, maybe it's come to me that clearly because of making all these videos and I'm constantly looking at myself and constantly editing myself. And so this, this real life instance of me editing myself actually made me realize in my whole life how I edit myself. It's not like I'm saying I need to go out there and be like some loudmouth who always voices my opinions. That's not what I mean by edit myself. I just mean like presenting myself through a different lens. I don't know. Is it, is it inauthentic? It's not so much inauthentic as it is picking what people see, picking and choosing what parts of me people see, and then hoping that they piece those things together in such a way that it makes me look better than I am. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, if you can relate in the comments, let me know. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please let me know how the weather is where you are and how your favorite sports team is doing. I'll see you next time.